England, England is well represented here tonight. I haven't seen this many British stars in one place since Danny Kaye's bar mitzvah. <laughs> and I'd like to mention that some fine new acting talent emerged this year. Julie Christie, Samantha Egger, Elizabeth Hartman, Sandy Koufax, Don Drysdale. <laughs> And this was a surprising year for our Academy. A couple of Americans were nominated. <laughs> the British are demanding a recon. <laughs> well, this year we made films from Broadway plays, novels, ballads, poems, and one or two that could have come from limericks. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures are getting more and more adult. Today, kids refer to La Dolce Vita as the Italian Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. <laughs> This has been the year of the Pussycats. We had Cat Baloo, that darn cat, and what's new Pussycat? To name just a few. And we thought last year they were galore. <laughs> and after being nominated for so many biblical pictures, Charlton Heston didn't get anything this year. I don't know about you, but if it starts to rain and lightning, we ought to give it to him anyway. <laughs> Imagine nominating Lee Marvin, a guy who couldn't make it with his own nose. I didn't see Inside Daisy Clover. I just wish I could get that kind of money for my x-rays. The collector poses the question, can a butterfly fancy or find happiness sticking pins in people? And who can forget Ship of Fools, Grand Hotel with a rail? And a thousand clowns, that wonderful movie about Congress. The Sound of Music, or Mary Poppins meets Rodgers and Hammerstein. <laughs> Pictures about nuns have done so well, it's created a whole new trend. Now when a girl auditions for a part, the director says, forget about acting, can you pray? <laughs> then there's the picture, Darling, or What to Do While the Tea is Brewing. <laughs> Wasn't it a great movie? I didn't know Tom Jones had a sister. <laughs> Chicago was nominated and he deserves an award. He's the only, about the only doctor left who makes house calls. <laughs> no, Dr. Chicago is an exciting picture about a Russian doctor who faces a terrible dilemma. He has to choose between his wife, Julie Christie, and Medicare. <laughs> by the way, our show tonight is being beamed by satellite to all of the countries in Europe except France. <laughs> if there are any awards being given out in France, you know who's got to get them. De Gaulle is still sore about St. John. St. John. And now... I'm going there right after this show. Oh, and before I forget, I want to thank Batman for letting us use his network. Thank you very much. So much for my review of the past year. Now let's get to the results of the great race, which will be the sound of music to the collectors and the thunderball to the losers. This year's first Oscar will be presented by the first 15-year-old ever to win one herself. She's now a grown-up young lady with her own television program, her own husband, and a brand new escort, Miss Patty Duke and Mr. George Hamilton. <laughs> I have a feeling the British have swept the awards again. I'm standing next to a duke and I've just been introduced by the king. <laughs> Patty, I'd like to just say one thing before we begin. I'd like to make it clear that I'm, uh, I'm your escort just for the moment. Uh -huh. I want you to know that because your husband's watching. Uh-huh, and your girlfriend. <laughs> the first award this year is for the best achievement in sound. For this award, the Academy has nominated The Agony and the Ecstasy. 20th Century Fox Studio Sound Department, James P. Corcoran, Sound Director. Dr. Zhivago, Metro-Golden-Mayer, British Studio Sound Department. A.W. Watkins, Sound Director, and Metro-Golden-Mayer Studio Sound Department. Franklin E. Milton, Sound Director. The Great Race, Warner Brothers Studio Sound Department, George R. Grove, Sound Director. Shenandoah Universal City Studio Sound Department, Walden O. Watson, Sound Director. The Sound of Music, 20th Century Fox Studio Sound Department, James P. Corcoran, Sound Director, and Todd Ayo, Sound Department, Fred Hines, Sound Director. The envelope, please. Thank you. You open it.
You read it. Okay. The winners are 20th Century Fox Studio Sound Department and Tadeo Sound Department for the Sound of Music. <laughs> I'd like to thank the uh, Academy for this uh, honor and also to thank Murray Spivak, Joe Kane, and Jerry Alexander. Thank you. I'd like to thank the Academy. I also wish to thank all those in the 20th Century Fox Sound Department who made this award possible. <laughs>